Good afternoon, traders. I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Market Strategist with RJO Futures here on September 15th with some commentary here in the energy market. So let's get started. Uh, currently, we've got November uh, crude oil. We're up about 40 cents, trading around 91.77. And that was after we had uh, quite a bit of weakness here this morning, uh, kind of coming down in pressure near uh, last week's uh, lows that we saw, but quickly finding some support, bouncing up, and now we're trading up near the uh, highs of the session. We've got Brent Firmer also, that's up about 24 cents. Take a look at that spread, the WTI Brent spread. We've really kind of seen that narrowing back down a little bit. Currently trading here uh, just over uh, 640. So we've really kind of seen that narrow and I've got some ideas on how you could potentially trade that. So give me a call or shoot me an email. We can uh, talk about it a little bit more. Nat Gas uh, reversing uh, its sell off here last week. We've got Nat Gas up almost 2%. Uh, looking at the November contract, that's up about 7 to 8 cents here. So we're really kind of seeing that pop. Got some ideas on how you could potentially play that. Uh, now could really be uh, the opportune time, I think, to start taking a look at that market. Um, looking at the complex, a little bit uh, firmer as well. We've got heat up about a half a cent. We've got our bob up just over three quarters of cent, so a little bit uh, firmer tone there as well. And when you take a look at some of the data here out here this morning, you know, equities market's a bit weaker. U.S. dollar really consolidating. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, several uh, days, several sessions there of inside days. So give me a call. I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about how you could potentially play a momentum breakout strategy strategy there if you're interested. Uh, but you know, you, you look at the overall crude oil picture here, we've still seen prices continue here to soften. Short-term technicals are pretty oversold at this level, but when you look at the fundamentals here, we've seen recently uh, softer economic data coming out of China, uh, Europe, I mean, it looks like we've got a European slowdown overall, US and Europe also some fresh sanctions against Russia. So that has the potential to create uh, some additional, some further slowdown. So you've got a lot of, you know, weak things out there that I think, you know, when you start to look at the projections for demands that we've seen here that as the, the EIA has re, uh, revised their uh, estimates downward here for the remainder of 2014 and also into 2015, you look at our total stockpiles of oil and I think we've got plenty out there. I really don't see uh, uh, oil prices here jumping significantly to the upside. Now, with that being said, though, I do think there is some opportunity to play oil on the upside. The market has a potential to find a little bit of support down here. Uh, we could possibly see prices rise up up here, maybe targeting around that $95 area. Uh, but I do have some ideas on how you can play that. Also, the other important thing, take a look at the COT report, that's Commitment of Traders report. We've seen a decrease there in the overall uh, net long uh, positions that are held here by uh, uh, by non-commercials here. So that could be a sign of, uh, uh, of something here to come in the near future. So again, give me a call, shoot me an email. I got some ideas on how you can position yourself, take advantage of some move here in the energy markets. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.